All right, now that I have my wood floor, I'm ready to add a rug in the living room under the furniture. So first thing I'm going to do is turn off the wood floor. Go back to my background layer. I'm going to use my magic wand to select the area where I want to have a rug. And I'm going to start a new layer. Call it rug. So if this is going to be um, a rug or carpet that is all one color, as wall-to-wall -wall carpeting often is, I'm going to show you a nice way to do that. First thing we do is pick a color. Once you find something you like, use your paint bucket tool to fill the area. Now to make it look a little bit more like a rug um, and not just a, a totally solid area of color, we go to filter and noise and add noise. You'll see it gives it just a little bit of softness, makes it look like a rug. Um, with a little bit of noise, it looks residential. As I increase the amount of noise, it starts to look more like commercial carpeting. And you can play around with the different types of distribution, um, also adding in some different colors, etc., until you get something that you like. Okay, now what if I have an area rug with a pattern that's very specific? I'm going to get rid of this layer. Find an image of your um, rug, either online or scan in a picture, however you want to do it. Once you open that up in Photoshop, use your selection tool to select the edges. And of course, make sure when you're choosing your image, if you are doing an image search, that it's something that is straight on plan view. And then we're going to use this very top icon to drag it onto our plan. Of course, it comes in at the wrong size. That's no problem. It does automatically come in on its own layer, which is great. We're going to rename it Rug. And now we're going to use the Scale tool to make it the right size. So we go to Edit, Transform, Scale, and hold down the Shift key to, trans to um, constrain the proportions. You can line up one of the corners. And so that you can see what you're doing, so you can see your plan underneath. What you can do over here is change your opacity so that you can see through it. Now I can stretch this so that it fits. Um, I'm actually not going to hold down the shift key because the square that I have on my plan is a little different from the, the image, the proportions of the image that I brought in. And once you get something you like, you can hit OK. Change your opacity back to 100%. Now I have to make sure that my wood floor is actually beneath the rug because if I was to turn on the wood floor right now, it's covering the rug. So pull it underneath so that they're in the right order. And you're ready for the next step. 